Hello everyone and welcome back. I really thought it would be wonderful to share with you the paintings that I have done so far. So I want to share with you to start off with. This is going to be first of many. In my next videos, I would like to talk about the painting essentials and my ongoing paintings and you know, um, the basics of paintings, stuff like that. Basically acrylics and oil paintings. Let me know whether you like these type of things uh, and you would like me to share more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So let's get started. These are the paintings that I have done so far and there are some on the walls. I'll show you, uh, I can't pull them off because I've put Velcro tape on it to stick onto the wall. But this is funny, isn't it? But I don't want to um, pile them and uh, or place them on the floor. That's why I thought I, this is the best way to show them to you. So let's start with the first one. And this is my first painting, very first painting. This is done in acrylics, uh, just black and white. My friend Dawn helped me in figuring out like shadow boxes and stuff like that. She helped me a lot. But this is the painting, um, the first painting and this is the painting I was like proud of myself that wow I could do like this. Um, this is basically black and white and this is in acrylics and I like to write uh, my uh, like you know what made me do that and when did I finish this painting on the back of this. So to have a memory. This was made on July 22nd, 2017. It took nearly 8 to 10 hours to get the finished result. The painting was a still life artwork and involved only two colors, black and white. So basically this was like still life. The real mask was put in the shadow box and then I looked uh, at the object and painted this one. Next, this is my original work. I'm talking about my original works first. So this is the second painting. This is um, oil painting. This is not acrylics. So this one is also still life. Well, I wanted to figure out, you know, how to paint glass. Glass was my weak point. I always, I used to get intrigued when artists do glass work. Um, I couldn't get it. But after doing this, I was, you know, surprised at myself that, you know, I'm glad I did this one. And this is walls and this is the earthen pot brick. Other details and everything are, I have Instagram, so um, I put everything, the details like when I did the work and what uh, medium I used, stuff like that. So if you're interested, I'll leave the links down below in the description box. Please check them out. This is my second painting. I also named my paintings. Um, this one I named it as The Mask and this one I named it as Satin Cloth. The first thought when I get uh, after painting, I like that. So I named this as Satin Cloth and this is my original work too. This is also still life from the um, English uh, Royal Albert pottery I have. So I put this stuff and then, but the thing uh, I've realized is when you start a painting and when you are in the mood of doing it, we have to finish it in a couple of, you know, in, in the pace. Otherwise, this one I left it a couple of uh, months because I was busy with my work and you know stuff like that I didn't get to this one and after this one I actually started in 2018 but I finished this in this year before I started my original work so I just wanted to get done with this one before I start a new work um, so but it didn't I, I'm not that happy with this one but um, I, if I had finished when I started this one I mean I would have, I would have um, done more justice to this one this one I named it the English tea. I initially wanted to name this as Lonely Boat, but then I thought destination would be apt. So I named this painting. This is acrylics on canvas. Um, so I named this destination. This was, uh, this was made by an artist already. So when I was learning like colors, how to use the, uh, vibrant colors in my learning process, I um, took his inspiration and, and uh, painted this one. There is a website called Pixabay. There, there will be non-copyrighted pictures. I picked a picture from there and then I painted this in acrylics on canvas. This is time for coffee. I love coffee time with my husband. So I wanted to give this to my husband. So I just, um, it was done on October 10th, 2017. And this, uh, I finished this in two days. So this is basically you know the vapor i was learning the vapor how to do vapors and the um, spoon so this is that this is my original work i love this painting because um 
first the background was not this one the background was very plain with more galaxy look like blues and whites um, and then after painting the hands and the uh, musical instruments I didn't like that look so I changed the background totally to this one and it came like proper you know colorful galaxies sort of like that basically this is 16 by 20 canvas this is my um, first biggest canvas I did um, and this is acrylics on a uh, canvas this painting I named it music in harmony uh, and I started this on 3rd January 2018 it's an abstract art of two hands in harmony with music the thumb sticking out with index and little finger gesture means I love you in America uh, it took me 30 hours to paint this one and in here I used um, flute and then the peacock feathers I uh, depicted as guitar um, with three strings here like white strings and then these instruments as well so basically it's music in harmony I named this one as music in harmony and my daughter liked this one it's hanging in my daughter's room now and this is the next biggest painting but this is the masterpiece of Alexi this is not my original work this is um, Alexi's artist Alexi's original work I just wanted to learn the textures fruits flowers vases table marble you know stuff like that and you name it everything is there in this one basically um, it's this is like the biggest canvas I have done I named this as feast to my eyes so this is hanging in the living room as well this is acrylics on canvas I named this as once upon a time I wanted to depict the avatar um, style necks so I made the necks longer and this is the painting I did now I'm going to show you how I store my paintings I used to uh, hang them on the walls but not anymore I hang them only a couple of them go on the walls so let's watch that one I store my paintings in my closet on this shelf here I chose this place because this is away from the dust and pollutants so I close the doors and I used to hang them downstairs in the beginning um, but then I got bored to look at it every day <laughs> so I got them on inside the closet and then as I paint more I, I still got space on this side of the um, shelf so I don't have to worry that much but couple of paintings um, are downstairs and spread out in different rooms if I still I mean I have more space on the top as well so I can build one more shelf there <laughs> for my paintings so that's all about my paintings and thank you for watching this video I'll see you in my next video very soon and also if you're interested the details of the paintings and stuff I have Instagram account please follow on that uh, on that for the more updates